Hi, this is Rachel Cipriano coming to you again from Magnificent Resilience. What I want to talk to you about today is music and resilience. There's an awesome book I highly recommend called The Body Keeps the Score. I believe the author's name, author's name is uh, Vanderfolk. He's a world-renowned expert in trauma. And even if you don't have post-traumatic stress disorder like I do, Let's face it, as you go through life, all of us have experienced trauma. One of the uh, principles Vanderfolk teaches in this book is that for people who've endured a lot of suffering and pain, they need to get into their body. You know, a lot of people don't believe this, but I believe it's absolutely true that we have cellular memory. We have body memories. Our body remembers uh, the tough things we've been through, whether it be a car accident, whether it be uh, child abuse or, God forbid, sexual assault, anything like that, the body remembers. And that's the reason Francine Shapiro, who came up with a wonderful technique, EMDR, which, by the way, has helped me tremendously, uh, believes that the past is the present for people who are traumatized, that when they are triggered, their body goes right back to where it was at the time the trauma occurred. So Vanderfolk, who absolutely believes in the benefits of EMDR, also um, says that music and movement are a very important aspect of recovery from the traumas life invariably brings. This is especially true for people who've had serious trauma. So when you get into your body, when you move, when you dance, when you do exercise, all of those different aspects, it's so important to, to the recovery process because I don't know about you, but for me, one of the ways my trauma affected me is I became a very cerebral, cognitive, in my head kind of person. Oftentimes people disassociate from what's going on around them and they become very much stuck in their head and that's one of the benefits of the music and the movement is that it gets you out of your head and into your body where the trauma occurred and it just uh, is a recipe for resilience you know we all know when we listen to music it touches maybe our cognitive part our head but it also touches the depth of our soul of our heart you know, my kids get so mad because we just don't see eye to eye about music. They love pop music. For me, I'm allergic to it. I need music with heart and soul. I need movement. I need uh, music that has energy and movement. And um, so consider that today. I think most of us like music, but maybe I've given you a picture as to why you may like music and I also want to tell you get into your body listen to music and get into your body and trust me you will get results and you will become more resilient again Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resilience please like share and comment and feel free to comment as well thanks have a great day